Greed has made a home of us. We have built walls that displace others. Corporations have wallpapered themselves into the tapestry of daily life. Politicians who sit on screens and promise more of all the things we think we need. We are alone inside of this home of fear, hungry for more, wondering how did we get here? The pathology of greed is eating us from the inside like a cancer. Poverty, war, division, environmental catastrophe, our corners of a home our children know too well. What earth will they inherit as we consume our way towards a makeshift freedom? Are we too afraid to see? Cree Native Americans named Huetico as a cannibalistic entity taking over the mind in an insatiable and lethal embrace. Huetico is characterized as a psychic starvation that leads to an insatiable hunger. Our collective imagination was an open door. Now, we pretend our individualistic consumerism is a sign of our strength. True strength only exists in the embodied presence of interdependence, like that of an old growth forest. Yet we are like fallen leaves. Wetiko has spread like a silent disease, causing a deafening collective scream. To see what Tico is to dispel its hold on us. Our disconnection is mirrored in the world around us. The violence against each other and this earth is a maddening reality. Are we willing to hold a flame to the hollows of self-deception? The disease of loneliness is spreading like an epidemic. A single tree standing where there was once a forest. Conscious awareness is sunlight to the hidden corners of Huetico. Compassion is the dissolver of Huetico. Awakening from the delusion of separation reveals that in truth, we were never disconnected. We are all interconnected.